it's weird for me to have like a somebody call me that you know i don't consider myself that like yeah i've, I've brewed a lot of beer and i guess some people say maybe i've earned those stripes but to me i just i just love coming to work every day and doing what we do here and I'm just a guy trying to make great beer and have fun Funny the joke is is yeah I have this title but I'm also sometimes a janitor. I also take out the trash. I'm also the mechanic. There's this false thing out there in certain industries that like things are glamorous. So there's a lot of people that you know oh, I love beer I want to get into beer and then they get into beer and they're just like it's not what I thought it was gonna be. I thought you know you just show up and do a few things and then you drink beer the rest of the day. It's like no you know you may get some beers at the end of the day but. It's, you know, eight to ten hours of the grind before you get to that point. Never a dull moment here at the shop Beer Co. You know? I'd be worried if something wasn't breaking. At least I got my Zen music on, you know? I grew up skateboarding and listened to and go into punk shows and concerts and stuff growing up with my buddies. This guy's cool. I like to get my day going fast and hard. <laughs> it's a weird thing to say, but like, whether it's punk rock or hardcore, it kind of, it calms me. You know, there's a lot of things that go wrong sometimes during the day that get you fired up and irritated, but like, if I was to throw my earbuds in and listen to like punk rock or hardcore, it like calms me down. It helps me think clear and, and better. When I was younger, I just didn't, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Even though I listened to a lot of music and skateboarded, like I never was, was like, I'm gonna be a professional skateboarder, I'm gonna be in a band. It was kind of interesting because I was working with a coffee company here in uh, Arizona and that's where I met my business partners today at the shop. They started a brewery at the coffee company, and so I kind of just started asking questions about beer and hanging out with them a lot, and then learning different extractions and temperatures and times and how to pull the perfect espresso to how to brew the perfect pour over. You know, the process, I wouldn't say is the same, but there's a similarity in there that was easy for me to like understand the brewing process of beer. Eventually, I switched over to the beer side of the company, and then we started building this place. The rest is kind of history. Here we are. <laughs> All right, we're going down. Whether there's a hiccup in the day and I'm working on a pump or something on the candy line goes down, I want to do everything I can to make everybody at the shop successful. You good? You good? good? Okay. Good thing it's not Monday yet. Did you tell Paul? Did you tell Paul about your challenge? Get it all out now before Monday. Okay. Come Monday, serious for a pizza party. I'm gonna take my mouth. You should just do that anyways. Oh. You know, every day there's new challenges and new uh, experimenting to do, and I don't think that'll ever go away. Every day can be different. Every beer uh, is unique. Another Thursday. Yeah, right? Another manic Thursday. People sit around and just have fun with their friends in your tasting room, on your patio, drinking beer. Like, it's the same with coffee. You know, you're sitting in a coffee shop and you're sitting there and you don't know the person you're sharing the table with and you start a conversation and that's like what it's all about is, beer is for me, is just like community and just bringing people together. That's why it's hard for me to like, yeah, I oversee things, but like, I don't care about the title. I just want to make good beer and you know, it's just, I'm comfortable 
I can live my life and I enjoy what I'm doing and passionate about it, that's success to me.